Meantime, an Arizona brewery is trying to make its suds more sustainable. So, Heather, they're doing something here that no other brewery has ever done in the state before. Max Gordon has more on how Mother Road Brewing Company is trying to make your pint better for the planet. The bosses won't let me drink on the job, otherwise I'd crack open one of these cold ones with you. There's nothing like the refreshing bubbles of an ice cold beer, and pretty soon Mother Road is going to be carbonating its brews in a way you might not expect. It all starts with the way beer is brewed. So yeast ferments simple sugars into alcohol. In that process, the yeast produce quite a bit of CO2. Normally that CO2 just escapes into the atmosphere. We viewed this resource as, as one that uh, we, we'd like to recapture. Because not only is it bad for the environment, we view ourselves as a steward of Arizona. But when it comes to getting their beer to be bubbly, breweries usually have to buy more CO2, which gets injected later in the process. There have been CO2 shortages throughout the U.S. in the last couple of years. So now Mother Road is going to be installing a new system that captures the escaping CO2, scrubs it, then saves it to be used later. Ideally, we have very little waste and we'll produce all of the carbon dioxide we'll need uh, for our production needs this year. The system costs around $100,000, but the brewers at Mother Road say it should pay for itself within two years, since they won't have to buy any more CO2. So then it made great financial sense to do the right thing and be sustainable for the planet, but also to do the right thing for the needs of the business to keep us operating efficiently. So when will your Mother Road suds be filled with recycled CO2? Well, they need to run through their current supply of the gas, and then the new equipment should be installed within the next three months. And while the beer will be more sustainable, Mother Road says it won't taste any different. Max Gordon, Arizona's Family.